Oh, the firefighters from the fire. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Good. Chloe, what happened? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't. I don't know. It's not my fault. Everything it's not like hundred percent my fault. That guy you have a file on, Demon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm yes. not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. There is really no reason to not tell him the truth now. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. You have to tell him the whole truth. And what did you say? No, nothing. Of course. I lied to him. Is that how it became violent? He wanted dirt on you. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Rachel Demon hit him. had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. Well, what else was I going to do? I'll lie to you? I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. That's not my biggest concern right now. But what about Damon? What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. It's... Steph, why is she here? Hey. Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, 
Our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Maybe I okay. will. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Who's that? I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Hot dog man! Fuck, it's hot dog man. Damn, are these all firefighters? Due to the increased volume of patients suffering from heat exhaustion and or smoke inhalation, we'll have, we have made several additions of recovery, additional recovery rooms available. Please proceed to all new patients to Wing B. Consult your shift leader for a refresher course in recovery uh, protocol. Thank you. Okay. So we got this. This to read. Hey, Max. I think I want a tattoo. Yeah, I know. It's permanent, right? But that's the thing, though. It's not. Not really. Because... We're not permanent at all. Funny how much simpler life seems when you keep, keep that in mind. Like my hair. I wanted to see why it looked like blue. So I did it. Looks awesome. One day I'll make it all blue. If I don't like it, so what? Falls out eventually. See how that works? You know what else isn't permanent? David. He actually tried being nice to me. In the most awkward way imaginable. Then he tried to connect with me about his dead friend, which... <laughs> Fine. A for effort, I guess. Eventually, I got out of there and headed to the garage, which David's transforming into his own personal asshole cave. At least I got what I came for. Dad's toolbox. Bet he would like the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. After the junkyard to see if I can get that truck working. I know it's far from permanent. But here's hoping that little beast has a little more life in it. Chloe, the impermanent marker. Hey Max. You ever notice how people in hospitals are always whispering? I think it's because hearing our own voices makes everything feel much more real somehow. Now, like writing it down. Weird how only a few hours ago, I was the one bringing something broken back to life. I almost can't believe I was able to fix up that truck. I took it for a joyride around the junkyard before Rachel showed up. We chatted for a bit, then shit got crazy. And by crazy, I meant Damon Merrick, the psychopath who's super interested in Rachel's bio mom and dad for some reason. Oh, I'm yawning. <sighs> well. Uh, he and Frank arrived demanding to know what we were doing. Before we could find out why, he pulled out a knife and stabbed Rachel. I might have been able to stop him by acting quickly, quicker, but I just froze. If it weren't for Frank. <sighs> Blazing car ride, and I'm here, at the hospital, wishing I could make myself believe this isn't really real. Uh, Chloe, the much too real. P.S. I hope Frank's okay. What have we got? Snack box or a clean canvas. Shh. Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot. What is it? Oh, this is like a little kitty thing. Oh. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it one way or the other. And what about Damon? 
Is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. I guess I'll just get off my seat. I'm gonna keep hitting that. Hello, magazines. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Hello, pamphlets. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, yeah, so good. I want like 20 more of those. Chloe, you just litter? Pretty sure the hospital nutritionists meet here after hours and pig out. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Let's read this. Is this for real? Administrator Hofstadter. One of your current patients is Andrew North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. Uh, as th the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of the school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North uh, this, uh, in this instance. I would therefore like to personally, and I stress anonymously, cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance uh, of in speeding the process, don't hesitate to contact me. Sean Prescott, follow by... Um, up on fifth of fifth? No, it's the ninth. That's the ninth of May. Not allowed in there. All right. I'm gonna guess Brotherly Limb is like signing um, Drew's cast. So I'm gonna bet there's something I can like vandalize here. Pretty sure the hospital nutritionists meet here after hours and pig out. Oh shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> I guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Ah, <laughs> oh, those guys. Frank's business must be booming. Tension Arcadia Shit. Bay Hospital staff. I really hope he's okay. Uh, there's been a recent increase in anesthesia compl uh, complications from recreational drug use. Please make it clear to patients, especially those in the teens, that. Uh, if they're taking, they've taken any drugs, they need to disclose them to you for their own safety. Be persistent when taking down patient's history. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Dirty joke. Go on, what is it? I'm so tired of dealing with assholes. Then you shouldn't take track. the proctology shit. <laughs> Snack box. Snack box, huh? Oh, I guess I'm done with this area. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Is this Drew's room? Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Went Those out. guys look exhausted. Control. No. It's completely out. 
it extinguished itself. Unless you get stabbed. All right, let's not go to uh, Mrs. Amber first. No kidding. Or maybe we should, because I feel like we have to go into I'm Jewish room. Wow. Rachel's mom does not look okay. I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Uh, has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son. Needs I really regret overhearing that. I don't care about Nathan that much. Hey. He already had his time in the spotlight in the main game. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? In the yeah. few days? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Let's go to Drew's room then, shall we? Huh. More like silent hospitals slowly drive friends and family insane. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. All right. All right, then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. Yeah. How are things? How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. You know, Drew's hurt, of course. But, uh, I'm between jobs, so got plenty of time to visit. You know? Yeah. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Uh, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should ask Drew. It's not in my position to say anything. You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Man. Hey. If I... Hey. Hey. You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. 
Fun day, huh? So, what have you been doing all day? Um, not much. Homework. Hanging out with my dad. Dealing with the dumb jokes about the plate in my leg. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. You should try it. I bet you'd look cool with a little color. Yeah? I'll have to think about it. Maybe something red? Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. She's Rachel's okay. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? Tell him. She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No. I should have been more careful. No, not at all. If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Hey, Mr. North. Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Calm your tits, Man. Drew. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. I haven't had the chance to do a clap back yet. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Ooh, I want to eat that right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. <sighs> I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Drew, I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injuries. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcoming place for all my students. I realize now that in many ways I've failed to do that. I want you to know that the, uh, the students and faculty are rooting for your speedy recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I made sure to have your coaches, uh, uh, that your coaches are ready to accommodate any recovery needs that you may have. As for the matter that you were injured on Blackwell grounds, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I have begun to look for uh, new security personnel. Hey, new se uh, well, I guess security personnel is plural. If there's anything I can do to make you feel more safe upon your return, please do not hesitate to let me know. Sincerely, Wells. What a piece of shit. Damn. An 8 out of 10. Ouch. That'll be an interesting read. Are you still taking uh, the exam on Monday? Multiple choice question. All odd numbers questions are on page 237. Free response question 1367 are on page 259. If you're feeling up for it, I'm working on a piece about certain recreational activity around Blackwell. Maybe you could answer some questions for me. Feel better. Hugs and kisses, Juliet. Let's talk to let's talk to Steph. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Oh, just talking to Bo. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep. Definitely too many concussions. Can I speak? Can I talk to you, Drew? Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. 
Hope you feel better, man. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh, oh, right, right. I'll um, I'll leave you alone. Dude. Leave me alone. Can I not sign his fucking cast? Can I take? <laughs> oh, I want to eat that right now. No regrets. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. <laughs> Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. Take what's yours! Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. This is the first back talk every like two hours in. Good thing we're in a hospital. Because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. <laughs> you don't scare me, Chloe Price. Hospital food's scary. Know what's scary? The shit they put in cafeteria pudding. Animal connective tissue causes cancer. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat this pudding and there's nothing you can do about it. Have, haven't you eaten enough? Is that what your coach would want? You don't want to lose your edge, you know. You're getting a little soft. And by soft, I mean fat. Oh. If you love pudding as much as I do, you might understand. Love and pudding and understand. If you love something, you have to let it go. If you love something... Let it go. <laughs> it's the noble thing to do. Oh, I love you, Chloe. No. That's something losers say. <laughs> We're all losers. Takes one to know one. Huh? I heard about last year's state championship. <laughs> oh, sports ball burn. Sports ball. She's not gonna quit, is she? No. Okay. I give in. We can share it. <laughs> All right. But don't get used to it. <laughs> Sucker. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why are you even in my room? Mm, so good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Dude, sign cast. Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm. Something encouraging. But not too encouraging. Still alive. Let's not talk about you, Omi. Look away. There you go. If your life sucks, it means you're still alive. Thanks a lot. Anytime. I missed the snack box. What the fuck is the snack box? You owe me big time for that pudding. Oh yeah. It's kind of nice that I can bum around here while I'm waiting for Rachel. I'm gonna go out for a bit. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? I won't. Next time, you better bring me a snack. Next time, for sure. Oh, and Chloe? Yeah? He's gonna say thank Tell you. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. Damn it. You bet. You bet. Yes!
Chloe, this is uh, Rachel's w waking up. I'm sure she loves to see you. Thanks. Sick. But. Plant? Alright. Snack tray. It's going to be here somewhere. I swear to fucking God. Better find a fucking snack tray. <gasps> there it is. I think this vending machine could be improved. Why would it be here now? Hangry, hangry hippos. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get it. Open up. And there it goes. That's adorable. So I've got unheeded warning and the DA's death snakes. I feel happy now that we can talk to Rachel. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. Can't go in? Okay. I'm sure Rachel can't wait to see you. Oh, she says that with such conviction as well. Here we go. Hey there. Pat, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. Hey. <laughs> My guardian angel. Hey champ. How's it how's it going? How are you? How are you? Not great. Figured Better as much. With you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And you saved my life. You saved my life. And I almost lost you. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe, like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. You fucking kidding. You sure? Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. Oh, 
What is that but line? If she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course. Don't whatever it takes. make promises with whatever it takes. But my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. Okay. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I was gonna say... I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. He's gone back to sleep. I love that even in the, um, in in like the the weird art style of this, you can still make out that her tag says Rachel Amber. Aww, aww, Chloe, aww. 